Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to the Wasteland, where last time we hired a bunch of zombies to help us dig out a deeper pit. That's actually not at all what happened. We had Horde Knight, and everyone exploded down here and created this massive mess for us to clean up, but it should be okay if I get down here. I think if we just made the pit two blocks deeper, I mean, that's not gonna help prevent this from happening in the future. However, it will kind of save us on resources in order to fill all of this in. I've also been thinking about making a sort of connecting like tunnel that goes through to the other trench so that if this one ever did fail again, which it won't because the stairs will be made out of steel this time, but if something crazy happened, they'd be able to, like the, the, the pits will communicate. So they can just run over this way and go into the other staircase and recycle around that way. So I'd say that's probably a day's project and I'm gonna get started on that in just a second. But first I need to run upstairs. We've got blade traps spinning still. Oh, by the way, yeah, there's something we've gotta do with the blade traps. I wanna see here. Whoops, oh, what happened? That's not supposed to happen. I was just standing over here. Ah, oh, whatever. Anyway, um, we lost the blade traps pretty much immediately last night, and it was due to cop spit. I actually need to get outside here on the ramp to see this. So I was just kind of halfway wondering if I could just pull these wedge 60s over by just one, just like this. Oh boy, how is this gonna work? We'd have to push the blade traps in toward the wall further because currently the blade trap is is plugging right on this block here but i want to now probably plug it on this wall flush it up with the back wall that's going to mean removing like these pole blocks that we put here and then i should be able to do another wait yeah another wedge 60 tip like right here i think and then probably just put a regular cube shape there and man that really tightens things up right around here, but I, it should be fine. I mean, everyone just comes through here single file anyway, so they'll kind of, they'll do the little wedge thing into here, and as soon as that this opens up, they'll start kind of splaying out into the blade traps, and hopefully that'll afford us some protection against cops who will be kind of spitting from here, and I'm kind of seeing a scenario where that one there might get hit a little bit. I don't know, because remember that the block right there that I'm pointing at is the one that's going to be connected to. It's pretty defended in there. All right, ultimately, it's going to start with a little bit of demo work, though. Okay, and just as a reminder, the reason we put those there was so that we could have another connection point to bedrock. But look down there. These pole blocks, they get destroyed at multiple spots along their pathway to the ground. So I don't think those are doing much for us anyway. And um, it probably was providing a little bit of stability for this stuff out front here. But, you know... For, for everyone who's concerned about stability here, this whole pillar here is not connected to anything and the base is not really connected to this in terms of like stability. So everything that's hanging off the edge here is being stabilized by the A-frame and it's doing really well right now. If there were problems, basically what would start happening is like this stuff out here would start breaking off. Like I don't think we'd ever really lose the fighting position up there or ourselves, you know, fall through due to collapsing blocks. So we'll be fine. Let me just grab this up and head back inside and we'll get get started working on, geez, it's gonna be like cement and sand and mix and steel and blade traps and all that stuff. Oh, and before I get started working on crafting here, here's a look at the, the whole inventory. I went around last night, early this morning actually, and picked up everything out of the loot bags or the, the corpses, I should say. So we did get a couple of schematics, a couple of magazines, nothing special, but we, we do get quite a bit of money. So this money here and this old cash here is stuff that I pulled out and these doors here are to be assembled later on today. All right, I'm ready to get started here. I've got some shapes to plug up the floor down here, but first of all, we need to get rid of all this extra stone that's down here. We need it anyway. We need it to make sand and to smelt into the forges for more concrete. You know, I think I have to take partial responsibility for all the damage that happened down here in the pit because I was throwing everything that would explode down into it. And so I was thinking that everything was probably fragmentation style explosive, all the hand grenades and stuff that we had, but I don't know, the nuke grenade, the cryo grenades, and whatever else I had, some of that probably did a lot of block damage. Some of it's probably more like dynamite than, you know, grenade. We'll definitely double check the stats on any throwables we chuck down here in the future. All right, things are looking better already, but it's no good. It, the exact same thing will happen again if we don't have a good way for the zombies to get out of here. So we've got to rebuild the entire staircase with what limited shapes I have left. 
And that's about as far as I can go right now. We gotta work on more resources. Good thing I have about 10,000 stone in my inventory now. Okay, so while we're taking a break from the stone stuff, because I need to wait for more concrete mix, let's head outside here and see if we can figure out the blade trap situation. Okay, we are reconnected to bedrock down there, so we should have a lot more stability. <laughs> a couple more pieces were falling off when I was kind of remodeling down here. And let's see if now I can just slide that blade trap. Yeah, just tuck it in there just a little bit closer. And also while I'm right here, before I forget, we gotta grab the scaffolding ladder shape here and replace that. Yep, right there. So the front zombie is gonna get pushed and sandwiched right into the middle of the blade trap. That's kind of perfect. And then it's a relatively easy process here. We just got the wedge 60 tip, wedge 60, wedge 60 tip again, and cube shape behind. And hopefully that will be shielding. Oh no, it is not shielding the bottom nearly as well as I would have liked. Hmm, I don't, um, I'm gonna have to brainstorm for a second and see if I could come up with some kind of a solution for that problem. See, you know what we really need here, I think, is to take off this bottom, like that little wedge 60 tip right there, and put something like, f that's, a, that's a full cube shape, I think. Jeez, is there anything that like would flush up there nicely? Just take that off just for a second there. Let's just play with, <laughs> easy to destroy shapes for just two seconds here and yeah i was just gonna see like probably a ramp is functionally what we want there the most because that does provide a lot of coverage like below because what's happening i think is that oh yeah because that the ramp shape actually is going to block line of sight kind of because the cop the cops don't shoot when they're here the cops seem to shoot when they're like right here okay i guess the question then is is that does that look terrible i mean it doesn't look completely terrible it's just some kind of alternate angles there okay i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna try the full shape here okay we will try this and see if it works see how it works i yeah I'm, you know, a 50-50 on this one. Okay, it's time to go do some more stone harvesting over here in this pit. We're going down a total of three block layers. And pieces of the base fell off. I'm doing something wrong. So we're going to be here for a minute and we're going to pull a ton of resources out of this. And this one's nice and even so we can just make like <laughs> concentric laps around until we get to the middle and then from the middle out and then from the outside back to the middle. Okay, and that does it for that project. We just have to do the same thing, bring a staircase down, and, you know, I knocked, like, the the bottom, the, the connection out for this little V-frame here, and that's what we lost up there. We just lost the tip, same as we lost on the other side there during Horde Night, so it's good to know that if something critically bad happens, this whole pillar here gets knocked out. All we're really losing is some ceiling space up there, some of the, um whatever we're calling that part right there. All right, I have just enough shapes, I think, just to make like a temporary staircase system to get zombies up and out of here from the middle, just like that. Oh, right, and then there's the connections. That should be right here. We can kind of dig our way. Oh, look at that. I almost made the full connection over. Okay, actually, yeah, just, just like that, okay? And then actually, yeah, we'll take out the floor to that at some point, and the other one, should be right back here somewhere. Yep, there we go. We've got the connection now. So zombies can just go from one side to the other if they're finding some difficulty getting out. The good news is I've been pulling plenty of stone out for this project and I've just loaded up both forges. We gotta roll on cement as fast as possible now. I don't wanna wait. I always, I kinda go back and forth between waiting last minute and getting stuff done the day after the horde. And currently I'm on the getting stuff done the day after the horde cycle. Okay, so the thing to do now is to set up base automation or, you know, automate the pathways. And so to do that, I think we'll first have to head outside. Yes, up here. And okay, this is the little mess that I had to clean up a little bit. No big deal there. And what I will also do if I can is just a little trick here. I think I hope this will work anyway. If I just make a couple connections here. Um, hopefully this won't all collapse when I take out these two blocks here. Perfect. Uh, here's the experiment right here. Oh, oh we're good. <laughs> we just got some very much floating blocks here. Good thing we have alien tech. So, I need to get, uh, some concrete shapes and we're, we're just gonna complete this chain right here. Take the poles, copy, rotation, and flush those right up with the 
front fighting position there and then now now that's connected we can take this stuff off oh look what we did there we're good and this one i always usually try to connect these two i guess because there's an option you can you can actually like glue this to the ramp like this way or whoop come out here you can glue it to the pole there and whichever one you glue it to is the one it'll stick to and i i think i'm partial to kind of sticking it on this way here okay pretty much same thing on this side and then if i could whoop just get over here and plant this on the edge we are good to go we just gotta get it all hooked up now there we go that connection right there should have done it all up for us so if we need to deregulate traffic we just shut that door if we ever lost power the doors default to down so that we're pretty much good to go we're safe and then this should control everything else just hopefully we don't lose those switches we we didn't come close to losing them the last time so i don't see any reason for us to lose them next time but we gotta duplicate everything we've done here on the other side now there we go good as new and first power test here okay looks like we're we're most likely hot on the fence not gonna test that out we are good to go on the door okay everything seems to be fully powered and now functional here in the horde base we'll just have to do massive steel upgrades further concrete upgrades and we've got to finish out the pit project here at some point when i have a, a couple hundred more concrete shapes to work with currently just i don't have enough of it plenty rolling in though so we will set the forges and forget about them for the night and we are gonna head off to the super duper mart here in just a little bit just repairing up the weapons here and can i just say how much i like having to use parts to repair your weapons instead of always using the same repair kits i mean the iron shovel uses repair kits but like the steel pickaxe the steel club the laser rifle the scar all use their own specific parts to repair it's like i just like finally have a reason to kind of hang on to a supply of these because typically i would just be selling these th by the stack all right before we head out so the the laser rifle which is currently repairing is using the microfusion cells as is spray no prey that's why we didn't use spray no prey during horde night because i was down to like two stacks of this stuff and and spray no prey i think uses a stack <laughs> like if you load it up it's a full stack so i didn't want to burn through all of that so we can continue using our laser rifle but that does put us in a predicament because i've been i crafted a little bit of it but it's extremely expensive to make the microfusion cell takes not only a bottle of acid but a car battery the rest of it's easy enough to get we can make acid over here but i haven't checked the recipe yet it's either a car battery and some murky water or a mosquito proboscis and beer i guess i could i guess i could part ways with the the two mosquito proboscises or proboscis that i've been saving and <laughs> smelt those into some acid but that doesn't really get us much closer to any sort of like bulk crafting on on microfusion cell ammo i think we kind of for the most part have to rely on what we're finding in order to keep that ammo type up we do have a couple of like these max charge variants which as far as i know are like the hp or the ap variants of these energy weapons okay so we got to use the ammo to this thing a little bit sparingly fortunately i can only shoot 10 shots at a time i did want to check was there any chance that the mag extender or the drum mag could go on this because i i mean the 10 shots is just not not enough and um no no you cannot i do hear a zombie out here somewhere hello where are you oh you probably don't have a way to get up here so you're just kind of loafing around let's try getting you up on this side here okay here she is it's dave by the way <laughs> let's turn the blades on oh see that is that is a really good spot for blade traps isn't it yep we got the kill on the blade trap there Oh, if only the cops won't destroy it and I can keep up on repairs. That'll get us a lot of extra DPS on Horde Night. Oh, I hear some more company running up here. Is this like a horde? Because there's a whole bunch of them. All right, spin up the traps and I'm going to let up a couple rounds here to attract anyone else over who might have wandered up here. Just you three, four, or... No, there's more. <laughs> Bus driving life over here just said, I think it's going to storm. That's very insightful of you there, because it's pouring out. Anyway, let me get packed up a little bit, make sure we have everything we need, and we'll set out here as we um, tick into morning. Oh, I, it's a screamer around here somewhere now. I see. Okay, let's get down into position here, and hopefully I can get a shot off on here. her. It is officially morning now. 
Where did she go? There she is. She, she screamed or pseudo scream? Not sure. Well, I don't see anyone. All right, let's just uh, spin that stuff down. We got to keep the door on, though, so that we can get some zombies up here if they arrive. And, oh, bus driving life, you can take five. Let's pick you up. And, oh, you know what? Oh, several zombies out here. Was this a horde that kind of ran by and stopped over there? I'm not exactly sure, and I'm not going to go wasting my plasma microfusion cells on it. Oh, the screamer. Did she have anything good on her body? No. Steven, also no. Let's get rid of that crap. What about you guys down here? Nothing, nothing, and brass. Thanks for clogging up my inventory with that stuff already. Well, all right, let's get out of here. I'm kind of partial to using the motorcycle these days because of fuel efficiency. The the old truck there, I mean, it's like 50 or 60 years old, if not more. That, that thing was built in like the 1940s. It's like 100 years old, and so fuel efficiency is not something that thing was designed for. All right, last time we rolled through here, we ran into a huge pack of rad cats, and they lost one soldier trying to help us out, so light a candle for that poor soul. And then together, we pushed all the way down this road to the Ohm Depot. I've been calling it Ohm Depot, but... I it's just recently dawned on me that that, you know, the orange color here, Ohm Depot, it might be Ohm Depot, which is maybe like a play on Home Depot, which is like an American hardware store chain, superstore thing. I don't know. Ohm Depot, Ohm Depot. Is Depot even a word? I don't know these answers. We're pressing on. We're going to the Super Duper Mart. That one I definitely am pronouncing correctly. Yeah, that's the one right there. Kind of right on the edge of this burnt biome area. Let's go. I'm going to just take a peek out at this fire tower here, which was clearly not doing a great job around here. So is this just a regular old fire tower place or anything special going on here? I just want to kind of dip in and check. No time for lockpicks today. Oh, it is probably just a regular old zombie place by the looks of it. Let's just blow some of it up just for the fun of it. Nothing like a couple of explosive barrels to get the heat rolling in this region. Okay, using my power armor radar, I can detect where King of the Zeds is coming from over here. Yeah, otherwise, I think I'm pretty good for this place. I'll search the cop. Ah, oh, polymer, that's all we get there. And we'll take care of our lead. Yeah, I'm not I'm not here to do this place. We're here for the super duper mark. All right, I'm just pulling around here toward the river. I mean, they know I'm coming at this point. There's no way they didn't hear the motorcycle. And I'm just seeing something off in the distance here. What is this way out here? No way, man. There was a survivor out here, and this is as far as they got, and then some zombie came by and ate them. Well, at least they didn't turn. The mutants eat people too, so there's a distinct possibility that there's someone in power armor up there. Holy crap! Okay, we the assault is on. Somebody is already trying to infiltrate there. Who did we bring with us? Legions lost with the sweet looking power armor. Who's this? Weather wolf with a knife. Okay, um, uh, <laughs> yes, I will hire you because I think I can give you a gun later. Let's go. 10k dukes. Okay, here we go. We are Let's we are in mutant on. territory now. Let's go, baby. Okay, that's it for the 556. Let's go over to some laser stuff. Of course, I didn't load my guns before I came in here because why would I ever do that? All right, take out the snipers if we can. Yeah, Legion's lost. If you could lay down some covering fire, that'd be great. We are getting some radiation. There's like a green thing over there. We'll destroy that in a couple seconds here. Okay, Weatherwolf is whoops, charging straight in. Good, good. Take that stuff out and back up. Tactical retreat here. All right, Weatherwolf is tanking another couple of guys over there. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Can we get these guys off the rooftop, please? What is going on here? Okay, there's a lot of a lot of people here. Get the shotguns out. In fact, I'll probably give this shotgun to Weatherwolf here if we can get a situation where there's a little bit more time. Oh boy. All right, fall back, guys. Fall back. Fall back. We got to regroup over here. Regroup and for goodness sake, reload. Okay, I should... Yes, ooh, that was a great headshot, nice. Okay, so here's the trick here. Legion's lost, let's go, show me your inventory. Have the shotgun just for a second. I'll probably go craft Weatherwolf his own rifle here at some point and then command menu. What am I looking for here? Oh, oh right here, weapon menu. 
Shotgun menu. Use shotgun. Oh my god. We just got a CQB soldier for our team. Nice. All right. Great success there. Let's get back in here. Oh yes, the radiation. Okay, let's take the Rad Z just in case. And I gotta see if I can get up in here and... Oh my... This is like a nuke. Someone nuked this place and it didn't blow. Oh my god, that's like a lot of hit points. Okay. Um, take a first aid kit so that I can replenish my hit points while I'm doing this here. Oh, we're gonna carve out a whole bunch of nuclear material from this too. Okay, we got faster, faster, faster power attacks, please. <laughs> it's starting to cough up blood a little bit. Ah, there we go. Okay, could be more of that stuff in here somewhere. Looks... Me. Okay, we made contact again. There's somebody somewhere. Let's reload. Let's get on with the and they were kind of pouring out of this... Whoop! Oh, there's more radiation for sure. Are you guys okay? Goodness. Yeah, there he is right there. I can see him. Oh, he's got some loot back there. That's like their armorer. Okay, just get a good clean headshot or two. There we go. All right, once we go in there, there's going to be mutants. There's going to be radiation. In fact, I can see some irradiated material over there. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go quickly. Is that a guy? I can't really see right now. Yep. Okay, he's dead. Uh, just moving slowly, carefully. I think I'm all set now to knock out this set of barrels. There we go. Okay. So that's clear. You know, every once in a while... Oop, I got more radiation. Every once in a while, I still get the ignorance is bliss thing, even though I don't have any points into luck anymore. So I just must be that lucky that even though I'm not specced into luck, I still get lucky and get the ignorance is bliss thing. I don't know if it's making any huge difference, but uh, oh, what do we got here anyway? We got some some like military style loot that's locked. Okay, I'm gonna I'll loot up later. I have a feeling that, oh, there's meat piles here. Let's take the meat pile stuff. There's an ATM here. Yeah, there might be some more, oh geez, somewhere. I don't know. I get kind of panicked when I'm <laughs> suffering from radiation poisoning a little bit. What do, who is that? I don't know. Do we got someone on a rooftop around here? Oh, right there. Ow, 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 ow. No, no, no. Covering fire, guys. Take him out. Look, this is the little cage right here. Maybe that survivor escaped, and that's who that was. He's just escaped and trying to set himself up a little bit of a camp and patch up his wounds, and yeah, he just kind of bought the farm out there. Or maybe, maybe, maybe it was a pair of people. Maybe... Weatherwolf is here trying to avenge his friend who died over there. Weatherwolf, oh, I got your back, bro. We're gonna kill all these people just for you. All right, let's get in here. I'm, I'm tired of dinking and dunking. Let's get in here and charge straight upstairs. How bad could it be? Okay, no one's on this level here. We got a key box. Oh, power armor radar has kicked in. I can see a lot of people up here. Okay, can you guys get up here with me? All right, I've commanded the boys to kind of stay put right here. Let's open her up and here we go. We've got a gun battle. Much, but they're in there somewhere. Over oh, the fire! There we go. That took them all out. And there's gotta be some nuclear material here somewhere, right? No, it could be on the rooftop. It could be below me as well. Okay, I gotta. Jeez. Alright, the power armor radar doesn't show anybody down here. Yes. I didn't read it properly. There are definitely people down here. Okay, and I'm gonna need another first aid kit at this rate. Yep, oh, key going to this side. This side did not have any material. I'm going up alone then to this side here. Yep, yep, yep. Um, can I open that door? I can't open that door. Oh, ladder to the rooftop, right? Oh, a step ladder, perfect. I love that thing. All right, here we go. We're doing this solo. And, oh, ow. Okay, I think we've already kind of cleared the rooftop a little bit, at least. Oh, just knock him off, and I think we're good. Yeah, he's dead. Quickly then, take out the nuclear material. Okay. Was that it? I think we've done it. Oh, these disgusting, disgusting mutants. You know what? I'm gonna... We can, we can eat mutants. We can cook and eat them. I actually put my knife away today, but I should be able to get a little bit of mutant meat. I'm gonna eat these guys, and um, I was gonna say give them a taste of their own medicine, but somehow... I don't think that that quite links up the way I had thought it would. Maybe in that case, I'm going to get a taste of their medicine, or... I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna stop trying. Okay, we got a large weapons case here I just cracked into, and these have gave a, given us great guns before. Today? Well, we're, nah, because we're in the wrong biome today. Alright, well, maybe... There might be a place similar to this, kind of at the over by the horny toad and the Mo Power place that we were at a couple days ago. 
And that all is in the wasteland. Here we go. Some microfusion cells. Good. Tier 4 loot chest here. Hey! A worn 1911 and a treasure map. Not bad. What's this look like? Pretty cool. That's going to be taking... What is that? Is that 945 probably? 45 caliber? And a weapons bag here. Not much in there. Okay, I'm going to pick through the rest of the loot and we're going to get out of here. Oh, here we go. 45 ACP. I found some already. Get this thing loaded up. I want to see at least what it sounds like. There you go. Ah, look at this old save. And we're in. What's this one good for? Oh, not too bad, actually. A nice AK. And we've got a bunch of racks here to go through, but you know the drill here. It's just going to be parts and stuff. Maybe, yeah, a couple bits of armor if we're lucky. Check a messiah box here. Some parts there. Grab those. And I think we're we're almost good here. There's still a bunch of like little bits of garbage to go through. Books on the floor. Things of that variety. So just open a crack a book box here. This is Charismatic Nature Volume 4. Motivation knows no bounds. Increases your follower movement speed by 10%. You guys like that? All right, I'm going to call it right there. I've filled up the motorcycle and I've almost completely filled up one of our companions with loot. And otherwise, I think there's not much left to pick through here. I mean, there's plenty left to pick through if you want cars and such. Speaking of that, we kind of do need cars. We need acid, don't we? All right, give me all these stupid cars then. Okay, that's it for the back here, I think. Let's pull around to the front. The last thing to check for is just any more meat bags and whatnot hanging off the side of the house. And we do not. We do have a passing gas box over here that's definitely worth breaking into for tire iron and some gasoline. Okay, so that's that. Well, Weatherwolf, we have avenged your fallen friend. I did, however find something quite concerning while I was inside. Some of this right here, human flesh, probably the last remaining parts of his friend there. Let's just toss them out into the ground there and give them a decent burial and maybe uh, say a few words, set down a candle for him and um, ride off into the sunset. Oh, 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 wait a minute here. Look at this. This is a trap right here. Oh, that probably the mutants were using to capture people or animals for food. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff happening out here. All right, well, it's getting sort of later into the day. Let's kind of pull back through town. Man, if I could just get lucky and find one more person while I'm out today, it's 10K to hire some of the melee power armor soldiers there, some of the Brotherhood members. So, man, if we could just get one more of those guys, I could craft up some good weapons for them back home and we'd be good to go. Whoop. I did want to check though, this 4x4, four four, 3 of 8, we have a whole bunch of vehicle impact drivers and a bunch of parts on us as well. That is going to want some forged iron. I don't really know if I have any of that. I do. Nice. Oh, and yep, getting some shotgun work in. Good stuff. Okay, what do we need now? Oh. It needs like the, the thing on the front, the big, you know, spiky plow thing that it, that's on there. Okay, I definitely do not have that. Oh, 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 I was just gonna say we're taking the long way back to see if I can find anybody. I drove right past whoever this is here. This person is wearing power armor and rocking attack assault rifle. Where did you, were you here two seconds ago, my boss? Okay, do I have enough to hire you? Because I don't, I don't think that I do. <gasps> Crap! How do I, how do I make 5k dupes while I'm out here? I've got to go to Trader Wrecked and hope that Laboss kind of sticks around here. What the hell? Now I can hear all kinds of gunfire. I was just on my way to Wrecked. What is there like contact with some raiders or is this a whole crew? And we just only ran into the one. <gasps> Whoa! Crash the motorcycle! Oh my god, let's get out of here! There's a whole group of soldiers here! Lavas is either in trouble or dead already at this rate. Oh my god, there's so many of them. They're all over the place! Get away from the vehicle! Okay, yep. Keep an eye on Weatherwolf. Okay, we are gonna make a retreat for sure. Get out, get out, get out of here! <laughs> Emergency reverse! Okay, Laboss is toast for sure, though. Jeez, man. Okay, at range then. Let's see if we can re-engage these guys. Here we go. We're starting to kind of peel them off one by one. Oh, these guys are all, like, 
advanced soldiers. Oh, the, yeah, these are not just raiders. These are someone. These these guys belong to someone with a lot more power, a lot more organization. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm starting to feel outgunned and outnumbered here. And Weatherwolf is about to die. Where's the motorcycle? We gotta get out of here. We gotta stay close to the bike so we can get away. <laughs> Weatherwolf has all my loot and my good shotgun as well. So. Okay, man, I, yeah, we've definitely lost Labas over here. What a tragedy. Wait a minute, I can hear tech assault rifle fire going on way, way down here. Is that Labas down here? Because that's going to change things. If Labas is still alive, nope, just more bandits down here. Ah, oh, crap. Also, the, the condition on the vehicle is really bad right now. Yeah, these guys must have come over here trying to get some electronics like I did. Luckily, the place has already been emptied out. Oh my god! Whoa, guys! What are you guys doing over here? I've got a whole crew of power armor soldiers back here. Okay, guys, you gotta come with me. Oh man, th no, they're running off in the wrong direction. They might be falling back thinking that they're a little bit outgunned here, you know? Because they, they kind of are. With my help, you could definitely do it, but... I have no authority over these guys. They are under their own command structure, the Radcats are. Yep, bits of my armor are broken. It's probably time to just get out of here at this point. I'm gonna just pull up in here real quick, see if I can see Labas, but chances are very poor. I think Labas is done. Yep, whoop. Oh, that guy just died. Oh, friendly fire accident over here. Yep, couple more dead bodies over here. We've done some damage to him at least, but man, they, they killed our guy. Our one chance there. Yep. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, look at this place. Just pulling past this shotgun messiah here. That's a bandit layer. I can see the gibbet cage. You can just catch it right there, coming into view. Yeah, I never really did get around to exploring this half of town over here. This is Rekt's town, the town that we started in, but we quickly moved on to the snow area and then into the wasteland after that. Oh, and more, more mutant activity up ahead here. This little working stiff tool place is infested with mutants or no, I've already made contact with these guys, but they've, yeah, it's been a while, so they've definitely repopulated there. I think that was my first contact, or close to it, with the mutants! Wow! Oh, no! Ambush! Take him out, take him out! Okay. Oh, I, what have I been saying about getting stuck in a ditch? And here we freaking are. Get back! Get back! Oh my god. Get away from Weatherwolf. There we go. Okay. Before something else happens, let's get this stupid motorcycle out of here. Come on! Oh, what I would give for some off-road tires on this thing. Ah, there we go. All right, we're out of here. Up on this hill ahead here is the prison where it all started. But on the side of the hill, there's Jennifer's treasure map, which I might as well dig up on my way through here. Oh, right there. Nice, got lucky on this one. Okay, we're in. Come on, diamonds. Uh, silver. Damn. I did find myself a lever action rifle, which I saw that in the crafting menu once, but I'd like to take a look at it once and for all. And yep, uses 44 Magnum. It's got like a hexagon barrel. I used to have a lever action just like that back home. You know, I was just pulling through here as I have a dozen times before, just on the border here. And there's, th I've never actually gone over and seen what this is. Some kind of a smoldering mess here. There's a couple of military installations nearby. It's all walled off. Very futuristic looking, I guess. Yeah. Okay, something real shady going on over here. I'm gonna circle it just to get a good perimeter sweep in. Oh my. This is a lot bigger than I thought. A big sprawling military complex here. Barbed wire. Oh! Also... It's defended by... I don't know who. Who is that? Oh my god, th those are the people that we just saw! Those are like the advanced soldiers! Oh my god, get out of here, I'm not wearing any armor, it's all been destroyed. Yeah, we gotta get some repair kits. Okay, so that's... Yeah, there's a whole new faction in play now. And we've gotta figure out who the heck they are and what they're doing here. Jeez, they're moving right into our AO here, along with the Vipers and the Radcats over here, and we've got the Storm Riders over there on the other side of the mutant compound, and it's just us, us three, the Brotherhood of Steel here. It's all right, we're gonna be the strongest ones of all here pretty soon, but first, I've gotta get the inventory unloaded because it's a mess right now. Look at the armor situation. Boots, legs, chest, and helmet all broken in combat today. Okay, that raises the question. I forgot what it takes to make the power armor repair kit. I know it was expensive though. We can get a few. Oh, it was the steel. 
It's a huge steel investment to get those and time as well. Hey, look at this though. On the, on the bright side, we're up to 16 of the star bottle caps, which I, wasn't it? Who's that anyway? Wasn't it 20 to get the, or, oh no, it's 25 to get the ones that have guns. And I think it was 15 to get one of the melee guys. But as we've seen today, I can just grab a melee guy and turn him into a, 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 a rifle guy, I guess. Okay, this is Daryl Peterson. Hello there, interested in hiring you. Oh no, it's still 25. I thought for some reason that the melee guys were cheaper. Still got a long way to go before I can afford one of these guys. And I don't even know if it's gonna be particularly worth it. Speaking of that, okay, we've got Legion's Lost over here with the sniper rifle and we now have its Wayward Echo over here with the knife. So if I go, yeah, weapons menu, other weapon, shotgun. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm getting a sense of it now. You will get the option if the weapon is in their inventory. So let's just grab up, you know, railway rifle, laser pistol. Ooh, spray no prey, alien blaster, 10 millimeter. I don't think, I think that they just used like basic firearms, but I'm willing to give it a try here. Laser rifle, pistol, lever action, 1911, antique shotgun. We'll see if they can actually shoot any of those or if it's gonna be a pump shotgun. Basically, I'll give him this pump shotgun and I'll probably make myself a new pump shotgun at level five. We'll get that started. I like the idea of having someone with a shotgun anyway. It would, you know, preferably auto shotgun, but beggars can't be choosers. All right, have all of these guns here. Storm. And luckily we don't have to supply ammo. That would be <laughs> tedious to say the least, but uh, what do we get here? Weapons menu? Yep, it's as I suspected. I can tell him to use his bare hands. <laughs> um, or the other option was pistol. So of all the weapons I just gave him, it's just the basic stuff here. I'm surprised rifle. I guess if I had attack AR or something, he probably would use that as well. All right, we'll take the mods off. I don't think mods make any difference uh, for this use case right here. So... Give me all that stuff back. Have the shotgun. Weapons menu, shotgun, use shotgun. Okay, good enough. Okay, while I'm waiting on that shotgun to pull through, I've got a couple of new mods to look at. We have the laser beam splitter, which should go, I think, to the laser rifle. What is this gonna do again? It splits the beam, okay. Can't say that I know exactly what that means. It's like two directions or... Oh, we just, it's a, whoop. We get two for the price of one? Are you kidding me? That is, or do they do like half damage? I don't know, but that's pretty cool. It turns this into like, it kind of like a shotgun, which is fitting because we're going into rifles and shotguns. New shotgun is now done. And I'm just gonna throw a cripple a mod on there because, eh, why not? I think it'll work okay. All right, I'm gonna wait for one more power armor repair kit. And I think what I'm gonna do tonight actually is, geez, we need to do a trader run, don't we? Yeah, maybe let's do a trader run instead of, you know, building and stuff, because I feel like we're doing like a little bit of building and then a lot of waiting and then a little bit of building. Let's just do a little bit more waiting and a lot more building later. And tonight, I'm going to go look around and see if I can find someone else to hire. All right, I'm all packed up and ready to go. Let's go see... Well, we want to... Oh, that's that guy from before. We want to go see... Um, probably Trader Borg, I would say. Trader Johnny's over here in the wasteland. I don't know that I've ever... Well, first of all, I have no idea who this guy is over here. And um, I thought that he was probably part of the crew over here, but he might just be wandering through on his own. The reason I bring it up is because I don't know that I've ever really seen a... like a rad cat or like a group of rad cats or a brotherhood member walking around in the wasteland. They might preferentially kind of stay over here in the snow biome. I see them, we see them every day when we go out here in the snow biome and out towards the temperate zone. So I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna spend my night over here. We'll do a sell off, I gotta do some coal mining and we'll just kind of like putt around through town and see what we can find. Of course, I didn't bring the gas though. We gotta wrench cars anyway because we need acid, acid and car batteries to make microfusion cells. And I can't help but notice there's a treasure map up there top right kind of that way. It's on a big mountain. Maybe we'll head over there as well. All right, Bobby. Greetings, how you doing tonight? Let's um take the awesome game. sauce first, do the sell off, and I almost forgot to repair my armor, at least parts of it. He's got a special job to the north. There's a Trader Joel up north. Okay, good to know about. All right, that's a small fortune off of this guy. Oh my god, look at the money. And that's, I didn't even bring 
any of the money that we have back home pretty much so quick repair on some of this armor here we could just go up and like say hi to joel and see if we find anyone interesting to meet along the way and we'll probably hit up the treasure map on the way back to the base whoop <laughs> tommy watch where you're walking there okay here we go we're outside of dialogue towers here and it seems to be where trader joel lives why do i Something's collapsing right now. Joel, are you okay in there? What is going on here? He's got spikes outside? He's actually put some money into defenses, but I can hear collapsing. He might have just... Oh! Catastrophe! Oh, the zombies are inside! The zombies are killing Joel! And also this dire wolf is in the way. No! Joel, your base! Oh my god! What have I just stumbled into here? Joel, are you okay? Just cracked morning too, so... Yeah, we probably need to head home here pretty soon. I just gotta see if Joel's all right here. <laughs> I thought that was Joel for a second. I was like, oh my god, you're a little stiff there, Joel. No, what's going on in here, buddy? Your place completely collapsed. Yeah, that, that happens sometimes when you're upgrading your base and you're not paying attention to, you know, structural stability stuff. So anyway, do you need a ride? Is there somewhere you want to go or what? Urban Combat Volume 1, I'll take it. I don't even care what it is. And honestly, that gasoline there, I'm taking that as well because it's just, it saves me a trip basically. That's like 6,000 oil shale basically to make that much gasoline. Well worth it to just purchase it. Hey, All right, Joel. Joel. Yep, why don't you hop on the motorcycle with me? I'll bring you back over into town. You can probably find a place to, you know, hold up for a little while. Maybe I'll drop you off over at Trader Jen's. All right, let's see if I can get to that treasure from over here. Oh, that's, we're on the other side of the mountain. That would be, that would be kind of difficult. I'm gonna try it anyway. On second thought, I'm not trying it. <laughs> this thing cannot go cross country. We'll have to pick that up some other time. All right, I'm gonna head back to base. I'll get Trader Joel dropped off at wherever he wants to go. Maybe he wants to hang out with Johnny and the Radcats. And the hunt shall continue for more Brotherhood of Steel members a little bit later on this morning. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me on this adventure, and I will catch you hopefully in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.